Hello and welcome to Wild Heart Yoga, holistic healing for today's wood element yin yoga flow. Let's begin today seated in an easy seat on the center of our mat, hands just resting on the knees. Or maybe if you'd like, you can move one hand to the low belly, one to the chest. Just inhaling deeply, feeling the belly rise and expand. And exhaling fully and slowly expelling all the air from the lungs and the diaphragm. Feeling yourself ground against the mat. Ground into the present moment. While you're here, just set your intention for today's class, as well as maybe your intention for this week, or maybe even for this new year. The wood element is all about renewal, awakening, and rebirth. It is about letting go of what is no longer serving us so that we can step into a season of growth and change. So be aware of that and the intentions you set as we go throughout today's practice. Take just about two more deep breaths into that low belly, that dantian, the space between the belly button and the pubic bone. And exhale fully and slowly. Inhaling, feeling belly, ribs, chest rise, and exhaling, letting go. Wonderful. Release the hands as you make our way to our first yin asana of the day, our yogic squat. So go ahead and make your way to your feet at the outer edges of the mat, toes pointing out just slightly. And with a long, tall spine, Use your elbows to press your knees further away from each other, getting deep into the groin here, making sure the heels stay grounded to the mat. If your heels are lifting at all, maybe move your feet out or in a little closer, playing around with the distance. And if this is really difficult for you today, maybe stack a block or two to go ahead and sit your glutes down onto so you're not sinking down quite as low. Once you find the variation that suits you today, inhale deeply, finding length in the spine. And as you exhale, allow the upper body to just rest forward, back of the hands or arms just resting on the mat. Neck is relaxed. And continue breathing deep into that dantian. And exhale as you slowly let go of tension, of any thoughts or worries, or resistance that isn't serving you in this moment. We are holding each of our poses today for three minutes. The purpose of this is to really target the fascia and the connective tissue, releasing those deepest layers of tension and resistance in the body. And this can only happen through long holds. The fascia doesn't begin to release until around three minutes of being held in a pose or stretched in a pose. So we'll be holding our poses for longer periods of time today. Your job is to simply find your edge, go as deep as you can into the pose and staying mindful of the present moment, aware of what you're feeling in the body, connecting your breath, Inhaling deep into the belly and exhaling slowly and fully to get the deepest release and the most out of this class today. The wood element works with the liver and gallbladder meridians in the body. And those areas create our target area for today, which is our hips and groin. Many people hold emotional tension or emotional stored energy in their hips. And so if you become overwhelmed or surprised by emotion surfacing today, then that's when I encourage you to come back to the breath, allowing to come to the surface, whatever needs to come to the surface. And mindfully letting go whatever comes up, creating space in yourself for what is to come. 
Wonderful. As you exhale, now gently roll the spine up one vertebrae at a time, coming back to neutral. Then find your way to sitting in the middle of your mat, extending the right leg out, and just bringing the sole of the left foot to the inner thigh for a single leg butterfly. Inhale, reaching the left arm up to the sky. And as you exhale, take a side bend to the right. The top arm can stay reaching overhead or you can bend at the elbow, placing the hand gently behind the skull. And here I want you thinking about opening that chest up and out toward the sky, creating our focus through the side body here, through that attachment of those core muscles into the hip crest. Our gallbladder meridians run from all the way up the side of our legs into our hips and the liver meridian runs on our inner legs and thighs through the groin and comes around into our hip also, right at that hip crest, that iliac crest. So we're getting deep into both the gallbladder and the liver meridian with this side bend. If your mind has drifted at all, just gently bring your awareness back to the breath back to your surroundings, what you hear, what you feel. What is your body trying to tell you right now? What is trying to surface that would serve you to let go of today? Inhaling deep into the Dantian. Exhaling fully, imagining tension melting out of the body. Inhaling, drawing your breath into those areas of tension and stiffness. And exhale, letting go, releasing resistance. Inhaling deeply, welcoming rejuvenation, welcoming change and growth into every cell of the body. And exhale, letting go of what is no longer serving you. Continue focusing on the breath on your own for the remainder of this hold. Great job. Now slowly, gently release that top arm, making your way back up to sitting at a neutral position. Go ahead and switch legs now, extending the left leg now. Right sole foot comes from the inner thigh. Inhale, lengthening through the spine, right arm up toward the sky. And as you exhale, bend toward the left this time. Once again, opening that chest up and out toward the sky, keeping the bend really through the side body. Not only is this just good for our hips themselves, but since a lot of our core muscles attach at our hips, this is really, really great for our back health as well. I'm going to leave you here for the last two minutes of this hold in silence. While you're here, continue staying present and aware. Whenever your thoughts begin to wander, just gently guiding them back to the breath. Maybe reflecting on your intentions you set for this class, this day, or this year. Maybe just gently asking the body to reveal to you what it is that it needs to let go of at this time.
Awesome. Take one more deep inhale. As you exhale, slowly and fully, once again, release the top arm, gently making your way back up to sitting, finding a neutral spine once more. Then gently find your way to your hands and knees, taking just a moment here, letting the spine re-neutralize. And when you're ready, come up to the hands and knees, step the left foot through to the front of the mat, then heel toe the foot toward the outer edge, rolling it to the outside of the pinky toe side, pressing the knee away from the body. Back leg can stay off the ground to make this a bit more challenging, though that's hard to hold for three minutes. So I invite you to lower the back knee to the mat if you would like at this time. And you can stay up on the hands today, or maybe you wanna make your way down to the elbows. Perhaps you would like to use a block or a bolster, something to place your arms on top of so it's easier to rest in this pose. Take modifications as you need. For wherever you are at, make sure that that left knee is falling away from the body, really trying to get deep into the left hip, as well as releasing that right groin and psoas area as well. This pose can feel pretty intense, especially if you have never done it before. So this is when it's really important to breathe deep into that Dantian and exhale fully. That full breath is when we release the most tension, let go the most. Often when we feel pain or discomfort, whether it's emotional or physical, we tend to hold our breath and we get tight and tense. And so this is where we want to Learn to increase our threshold for distress tolerance by breathing through discomfort, relaxing into it, surrendering to the pose, surrendering into your mat today. We have just over a minute left in this pose. Continue on your own, focusing on that breath. Receiving from this moment and this pose, whatever it is that you need right now. Excellent. As you exhale, gently walk with the hands, bring yourself back up to the hands and knees. And let's go ahead and switch right to the other side. So now right foot steps forward, heel toeing to the outer edge of the mat and turning the foot onto that pinky side edge of the foot, knee dropping away from the body. And again, you can keep your back extended leg up off the ground, or you can relax into it, placing the knee on the mat. Wherever you are at today, try to find stillness at your edge. Just moving only if you need to go deeper into the pose once your body begins to release, or if you need to back off because the intensity becomes too much. With this new year comes an opportunity to make new choices, to find a new focus. 
I invite you right now to ask yourself, what is it that I need to let go of in order to move forward, to find new growth in my life, to find a new focus, more clarity, to move in the direction that I'm desiring and moving in, letting go of maybe barriers of fear or insecurity. Maybe it's holding on to grudges, unwilling to forgive and move forward. So just ask yourself, what is it that you could stand to let go of in this season of life in order to open the doors to new growth, to new opportunity, to open up yourself to living the life that you dream of living, that you desire to live. Living in alignment with your values, with purpose and deep meaning in life. Perhaps you are clinging to expectations and plans with such a firm grip that when things don't look slightly like what you expected or hoped they would look like, that you try to hold on tighter or push harder in that direction. When perhaps what is best in that situation is to simply let go, accept what is, and take a step back so that with fresh eyes, you can be alert and ready for a new door when it opens. All right, as you exhale, slowly make your way onto your belly with as little movement as possible, making a pillow with the hands, and just taking a momentary rebound to feel the echo of the pose, feel the shift this practice is beginning to have on your body or your mind. Here we are just allowing those yin tissues, that connective tissue and fascia to resettle before we move the body in an opposite direction. Ready, gently make your way back up to the hands and knees once more. And now we're going to prepare for our frog pose. So the key here is make sure that the hips stay aligned over the knees and slowly begin to walk the knees away a little bit at a time, making sure that the knees stay aligned with the hip. We aren't leaning too far forward or backward. Once the legs are as far out as they will go to the sides, lower yourself down to your elbows or maybe all the way down to your chest. You can place a pillow or bolster under the chest if this is too difficult. You can also bring the soles of the feet together, creating a tadpole variation of our frog pose if this is a little too intense on the hips today. Once you get settled in the variation that works for you today, Go ahead and just take a peek back, making sure that the hips are staying in alignment with the knees. And then once again, I invite you to find your stillness in this pose. Continuing to be mindful, listening to the wisdom of the body. Inhaling deep relaxation into the hips, into the groin, and exhale, imagining tension melting, surrendering deeper as you sink further with the help of gravity into the mat. You're doing an awesome job. This is another really intense pose, so keep breathing through it. You should be proud of yourself for taking the time to challenge yourself and to care for your mind and your body in this way. Just about a minute left in this frog pose. If it becomes too intense at any point and you have to come out of it, feel free to take a rebound on your stomach or your back 
for the remainder of the time. Wonderful job. Slowly begin to lift the chest back up now, walking the knees back together. And then gently make your way onto your back, taking your time to do so. Bring the right knee over the left knee, wrapping the foot around the shin as well if you can. And as you exhale, allow the knees to drop to the left, looking over the right shoulder. From here, to make this a bit more intense, you can lift the knees, bringing them closer toward the upper body. Or to make it a bit easier, scoot the legs lower, further away from the upper body. This is our twisted roots pose. Again, with our legs crossed like this, we are creating compression through the liver meridian in the groin, as well as creating a nice spinal twist targeting those meridians where they come through the side body and hip crest area. I will leave you in silence once more for about two minutes left on this side. job draw in one more deep breath as you exhale very slowly release the legs untwisting them finding a neutral spine for just a few moments here and lift the legs back up taking to the other side so now the left leg goes over the right leg wrapping around that ankle as well if you can Drop the legs to the right this time, looking over the left shoulder. Once again, you have the option of moving the knees up or away from the upper body to make this more or less intense.
There is a story about two monks journeying together. That one monk was older and wise, for many years had been a monk, used to living with much silence and mindfully going throughout his days. The other monk was younger and new to training as a monk. They journeyed together for hours and hours in silence, without breaking the silence. One point along the journey, they came to a river where there was a woman waiting and she asked for help crossing the river. So it was too deep and the current too strong for her to make it across herself. The older monk, without hesitation, lifted her onto his shoulders and carried her across the river. The younger monk was shocked by this action as monks had vowed to never touch women. When they got to the other side of the river and the oldest monk set the women down, they continued on their journey for several hours. They continued to keep the silence, but all the while the younger monk reeling in his mind over why this older monk would break his vows and touch the woman. He turned this over in his mind for so long and when he couldn't figure it out, he finally broke the silence, asking, why did you carry the woman across the river when we have vowed to never touch women? The older monk replied, I set her down hours ago. Why are you still carrying her? I invite you today to ask yourself, what am I still carrying? that I could have set down hours ago, weeks ago, maybe even years ago. Take one more breath, and as you exhale, in your own time, gently release the legs, maybe hugging the knees into the chest, or stretching any way that the body may need. Then release yourself into our final resting pose today, our Shavasana. Legs relaxed, arms out to the side, palms facing the sky. Feeling the mat beneath your body, the weight of your mass pressing against the ground, being held by the earth. Relaxing the feet, the ankles, the shins, hamstrings and quads. Relaxing the glutes, hip flexors, the psoas and core muscles. Releasing the whole back and the shoulders, the neck, back of the head, the jaw, and all of the small facial muscles relaxing deeply and peacefully now. I'd invite you to stay even longer in your Shavasana today if you have the time. If you're ready to end with me now, inhale, reaching the arms overhead, stretching any way the body might need a stretch, and make your way onto your side, and slowly up to seated for one final closing breath together. Inhaling the arms up toward the sky, 
and exhaling, hands to prayer, heart center. Let's take one more, inhaling the arms up, reaching tall, and exhaling, hands to prayer, bowing down, thanking yourself for honoring your mind and body in this way today. Thank you so much for joining me and choosing to check out today's class. If you enjoyed today's video, please do me a huge favor and hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. These are two of the best ways that are free and easy to support my channel. I do also have PayPal and Cash App links in the description below if you do feel led to donate monetarily as well. Thanks so much, friends. I'll see you soon.